Hey, what's going on guys? Have I ever got a special video for you today? All right, so the title of the video definitely gives away what I'm doing, but I'm having some trouble right now. I'm looking for gravy and I just can't find it. You would think it would be in this general area here, but nah. Oh, here we go. First step was the gravy. That was the easy part though, because now I need cheese curds and that's impossible to find. They're an exclusive kind of cheese. All this cheese, no cheese curds at all. Turns out they don't have cheese curds at all. I just actually have to ask. We're kind of screwed. We're gonna have to substitute for another kind of cheese or I might have to even just go to another grocery store. All right guys, we got played, all right? So I came to this grocery store specifically and they didn't even have it. We're just gonna have to use some block cheese, but that's boring and that's not the real thing. So of course with my luck, it just started raining, but luckily I am home with this failed grocery bag. Didn't get what I needed, but never give up on your dreams. Guess what I just found? Cheese curds, let's go. I might even grab two. So thanks to editing and just not filming everything in general, you don't even know all the struggle that I went through to get all these items just now. Cause cheese curds, they're exclusive, exclusive. I keep saying cheese curds and I haven't explained cause not everyone's gonna know what these are. Obviously whatever Maple Dale cheese is, is a Canadian brand. Cheese curds, yo, nobody else knows about these, man. This moisture percentage will tell you how squeaky these cheese curds are. And squeakiness is huge. Another ingredient here here is patin gravy. Honestly, it's just gravy, but I think it just has something extra in it that just makes it patin gravy specifically. If you're not from Canada, I'm not sure how easy it's gonna be for you guys to find that on the shelves, but if you find a can that says like beef gravy or just any kind of gravy really, it should work. So for regular patin, you usually use fries like this, crinkle cut, or even just straight fries, shoestring fries, whatever, but that's basic, yo. We're gonna switch it up and get these lattice cut fries, AKA waffle fries. Before I start the video, make sure to scroll down and give me a huge thumbs up for my bravery. Bravery because I'm wearing all white right now and I'm about to deal with a bunch of gravy, cheese, fries, salt. Okay, so cooking is all about time management. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with these waffle fries, get them baked and ready to go. These are going to take about 20 minutes and I have to flip them halfway through. Luckily, I did find the cheese curds, but if I hadn't, I would have had to use just like the block cheese. It would have still tasted good, not the same, but I would have had to be doing a bunch of grating while this is baking. All right, so let's start with getting these fries laid out onto the tray. These are gonna be so good. I did this on Snapchat a little while ago, and you guys really messed with it, so I'm like, you know what, let me do a real video. By the way, follow me on Snapchat, at these designs. Oh man, I should, I should like, Oh, I don't know. I should roll up my Do you want me to roll up your sleeves? Make sure they're all evened out. You can see the little bit of redness. I don't know what they're using for the spice. I'm not sure what it is, but I did have these before and they are delicious. Yo, you guys aren't even ready for this, man. This is going to be so good. Woo! Okay, so as you can see, they're pretty well laid out evenly. So I'm just going to stick these right into the oven. Ooh, let's go. Oven's been heating up. So now we just got to wait 20 minutes. So I'm going to set a timer for about nine minutes, flip them, and then put it for another nine minutes. And then if it needs more, I'll put it back in for another extra maybe minute or two. Okay, so the timer is going off. Let's stop that. So now we're gonna just pull them out and flip them over. Here we go. Ooh, the smell. Oh, flip. Oh, bad flip. Bad flip. Oh, this is not. This is already a disaster. I'm gonna end up flipping them all over twice and it's just gonna be on the same side. Jeez. All right. Oh, you didn't see that. You didn't see that at all. Good thing I just cleaned my stove. That's flipped enough. Now we're gonna make sure to even it out once again. Oh, my hands are oily. This is bad. Gotta remember, don't touch the shirt. All right, that's, that's looking good. Okay, so we flipped them all over and now we're gonna pop them right back in for another nine minutes. Bam. Boom, set the timer, nine minutes on the clock. So I got two cans of gravy, but I don't think I'll need both. Same with the cheese curds, like I'm pretty sure I won't need both. It would just really suck to buy the stuff and then not have enough. Let's get it cracking. This is where I gotta be careful. Oh shit, <laughs> I'm actually not shook. I'm really hoping it doesn't splash or anything. All right, here we go. We're gonna use this spoon as a little, oh, there we go. I'm gonna keep the temperature on kind of low because we have about seven minutes, eight minutes, and that's gonna be way too long if I have this too hot. The sauce is already made, it's cooked. You just need to warm it up. All right, guys, I'm gonna take some safety precautions and roll my sleeves up. The timer did go off about two full minutes ago, so I'm hoping these aren't burned. I'm just gonna check these out. Oh, they're looking good. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's, oh yeah, smoke's coming out. Make sure to turn off the oven when you're done. Always make sure, I always forget. So I'm just gonna bring the fries over here and make it a little bit easier on myself. Get this over with. 
I mean, <laughs> let's film this video. <laughs> All right, guys, don't worry. I did wash my hands. I'm gonna use my hands to do this. I'm just gonna get some fries. I'm just gonna lay them on the plate. I just like using my hands to do things, and I, I my hands are always clean. Don't you worry. So I was gonna use a bigger tray to do this, but unfortunately, that bag of fries I bought was so deceiving. It was a good thing I bought two, but I only used one, and it's like that's all that was in it. I wanted to be able to layer the patin because a good patin has good layering. If I used a bigger tray, it would only been one layer. Wouldn't have been as good. We're gonna bust open these cheese curds. Ah. Thank you. Okay, whoa, that's squeaky. One thing I do want to mention though before I continue, usually cheese curds are white, no? Because you got cheddar ones. Oh, cheddar cheese curds, true, okay. All right, you know what, it's all good. That's not, it's not too bad, but usually cheese curds are white. Okay, so we're gonna go right in with these, break them up. Okay, we're gonna lay them around the fries. This is gonna be so good. That's good for the first layer, I'd say. So I have my gravy, I have my white shirt. I'm gonna stand like this. Ooh, here we go, guys. Oh, man, you don't even know. This is gonna be so delicious. Ooh, it's looking like a patin already. Look at that. We're not gonna go too hard with the gravy on the first layer. And now we're gonna add another layer. So we're gonna put another layer of fries here. Ooh. <laughs> I'm genuinely getting so excited. This isn't like fake giggles. Like this is a meal right now. Like I'm about to eat this right after I'm done filming. So we do have our second layer of fries down. So now we're gonna add the second layer of cheese. Oh my God, oh my God. This is crazy. This is a lot of yellow. <laughs> Cause like the fries also kind of look golden. Oh man, oh man. So the thing about cheese curds, they look very solid and they are, but the gravy just does something to the mixture. The gravy softens the cheese a little bit and kind of melts it over the fries. So when you get a bite of patin, the cheese actually becomes kind of gooey. We're gonna finish up with the cheese. That should be about good. Maybe a couple extra. All right, yeah, why not? Why not? We bought it, it's very expensive, so we're gonna use it. And the second layer of gravy, here we go. Oh lordy lord. <laughs> oh yeah, can never have too much gravy. Guys, has there ever been a time in your life where you wanted less gravy? No, never. There we go. All right guys, so there you have it. DIY patin. Look at that guys, oh my goodness. All of that Canadian goodness. Oh. All right, so Vanessa and I are gonna try this out. When I say try it out, I mean we're just gonna eat it because we know patin is amazing. So y'all got the DIY and the taste test. Okay, here we go. Make sure you get the gravy and the cheese and the fries in it. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, mm. oh, God, amazing. I wish you guys could be here. It's too bad. I'm not sharing with them. True. That's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit me with a huge thumbs up. Make sure to follow me up on everything that's at these designs. Make sure you follow Vanessa on everything. I'm gonna leave her information in the description. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. So I just moved into this condo and I'm looking for reasons to use this kitchen. So comment down below what other meals you wanna see me make. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching yet another video and until next time guys, don't sleep fam. <laughs>